beloved in Christ, as a Christian, we have to make sure that the company that we keep, the people that we hold dear to our heart, that they are not addicted to chaos. Because there are some people who consider themselves to be Christian, label themselves to be Christians, that we look upon as Christian, but they are addicted to chaos. Beloved, God's Word tells us that God is not the author of confusion, but rather He is the God of peace. The Word of God tells us in Romans 17, And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Beloved, they may call themselves Christian, but if they are not lining up with the ways and the character of Jesus Christ, then they are the opposite of Christ. We have an example to follow. Someone we have known, someone we have come to know, through the Holy Spirit of God. So beloved, it is important for us to make sure that we are aligning with that kind of character. There are people who label themselves Christians and they want to make you people to see and follow them and to follow their ways. They want to force people to follow their ways. Beloved, let me say something to you. Jesus never did this. He never forced anybody in any kind of way. And only those who knew His way are also walking His way. You know, there are those who give an example and they say, Well, don't you remember? When Jesus uh, took this cord and this whip and began to whip those people who were selling in the temple, selling sacrifices, was not Jesus forcing them to quit doing something? Beloved, remember this. Those people that Jesus was whipping with the cord considered themselves to be religious consider themselves to be uh, followers of the law. In other words, what I'm saying, they consider themselves to be the insiders who was, as Jesus was, considered a follower of God. They weren't the world. They wasn't those that were walking out there doing evil and uh, doing murders and, and what, what have you, or, or doing any other thing that Jesus tried to get them to stop doing what they were doing. He simply shared the word with them, and because he did that, he found himself moving from place to place in order that he might survive, just as the disciples did after him. They didn't, even though the word, the word of God said they changed the world, they turned the world upside down, yes, they did, with their teachings and what they were sharing. But beloved, they never forced anyone for change. And that's what believers are trying to do today. And beloved, they are willing to do anything in order to get it done. They're willing to lie, to steal, to cheat, anything. Long as they say it lines up with God. Word, beloved. If you got to do anything that's outside the character of Christ in order to get what you say is His will done in this earth, then you are one of them that addicted to chaos.
and you will follow those who are addicted to chaos. And one day you will have to stand before an almighty God that will judge you for that fact of the life that you led. And many people allow others to bring them into chaotic situations. Beloved, it is, it's obvious of those that are walking in chaos and leaders that are walking in chaos. And at the same time, these false Christians reach out and promise you peace, but without God spearheading their self-fulfilling plans and schemes but rather they're trusted in themselves beloved don't get addicted to chaos but rather seek the peace of God beloved be blessed in Jesus name